October 10th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapters 127 and 128 from the Old Testament. If the Lord does not build a house, then those who build it work in vain. If the Lord does not guard a city, then the watchman stands guard in vain. It is vain for you to rise early, come home late, and work so hard for your food. Yes, he can provide for those whom he loves, even when they sleep. Yes, sons are a gift from the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward. Sons born during one's youth are like arrows in a warrior's hand. How blessed is the man who fills his quiver with them. They will not be put to shame when they confront enemies at the city gate. How blessed is every one of the Lord's loyal followers, each one who keeps his commands. You will eat what you work so hard to grow. You will be blessed and secure. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine in the inner rooms of your house. Your children will be like olive branches as they sit all around your table. Yes, indeed, the man who fears the Lord will be blessed in this way. May the Lord bless you from Zion that you might see Jerusalem prosper all the days of your life and that you might see your grandchildren. May Israel experience peace. God, it's always so timely what you have me record. Uh, you're just good like that. This beginning part where it talks about if you don't build a house, then those who work on the house are doing so in vain. And if you didn't guard a city, then the watchmen who guard it are in vain. And if you rise early and if you come home late and you work so hard for your food that it's all in vain. I think obviously it's really easy to know that if you aren't blessing something, if you haven't approved something, then our choice to go ahead and do something that is against your will, even innocuous, as some of the things we do in our life, um, you will not bless those things. And we read these things and we're like, oh yeah, yeah, God's not going to bless it if I'm not obedient to his will. But then I, I laugh because <laughs> we don't think in terms of our life it, when we read these Psalms or read different parts of the Bible. If we watch TV and all the crap that's on TV, you're not going to bless that. That's not part of your will. We are doing it in vain. It's something that is going to get burnt up in that fire at the end of our lives. Um, if we are choosing to do a mission field and you haven't told us to go and do that mission field, it won't be blessed. So it's not even just like the obvious things, the sinful things, the choices that we make in life, they're bad. Sometimes it's the common things that we do every day that if we're not constantly seeking you and seeking your desire, your will in our lives, we are completely missing everything about you. You have a, an incredible plan for our lives. And if we constantly are in prayer to you and checking in with you about everything, even the common things, we will have a much better understanding of not wasting our time, of not doing things in vain. And again, it be, can be something as common as, as what we choose to do in our free time, but it can also be what we choose to do in your name. I've seen a lot of people do a lot of busy work in your name. Now, Technically, they look like good things, um, doing things around the church, doing things to help other missions, um, doing helpful things with neighbors. And obviously, those are all things that you told us to do. But I also know that if we are doing those things and it's not part of your plan for our life, it means technically that we're being busybodies in somebody else's life, <laughs> that you have deemed those things to be for somebody else, not for us. And we're not following what you've asked us to do. You are much more about obedience to you than you are about the specific things. Uh, you're more interested in where our heart is than these specific tasks. So if we're not checking in with you and we just keep our lives busy with busy works having to do with with so-called your work in a church or your work in the mission field, we're completely missing the point. Um, I had mentioned to a friend today that I try and check in with you about once a month. There's things I do that I know I do wrong, sinful things, and, and I work on those. But there's also things that I'm so blind to, I'm so busy, I'm so just moving forward that I forget to check in with you. And about once a month I say, 
hey God, you know, whatever I'm doing that you don't approve of, make those things really clear in my life. Make them crystal clear so that I can work on them. I really want to make sure that the path I'm headed down is all about you. So we've got to make sure even the things that are kind and good things, that even those things are the things that you want us to be doing. Because while we're doing what we believe is kind and good, you may have other intentions for that time. And once again, we're being disobedient. So even if we're doing kind and good things, it may not be the kind and good things that you want us to be working on. Being obedient to you and having a constant relationship with you, uh, being in prayer to you about what it is that you expect in our life and being obedient to your will is the foundation of our relationship with you. God, allow us to come to you today just with open hearts that say, whatever you want, God, I will do. Send me and then make those things really clear because I want to be obedient to you in everything I do. From things I do around the house, to what I do at work, to what I do in my so-called free time, and what I do in my mission field, and what I do as a Christian. I want all of those things to be your will and have your blessing on them. In your son's name I pray. Amen.